And welcome back to the most news in the morning. The tale of Apache warrior Geronimo and his brave fight against the U.S. cavalry has become legendary. But now his remains, and in particular his skull, are the focus of a tangled legal case. His family believes that the answer lies with one Ivy League school's secret society. Deborah Farrick is here with more on this fascinating story for us. Hey, Deb. Hey there. Well, you know, Karen, for decades, the story was thought to be a rumor that members of a secret society at Yale stationed at Fort Sill, Oklahoma, after enlisting in World War I, stole the skull, femur, and saddle bit of the great Geronimo who was buried there. Well, Geronimo's family wants to know the truth, and they want to have a proper burial befitting such a hero. Geronimo hanged for murder. Just his name, Geronimo, conjures up images like these in an American legend. A fierce Apache leader and his warriors greatly outnumbered fighting off the U.S. Calvary in an attempt to save his people and their way of life. And he's eventually uh, surrounded and outmanned, outgunned. He is convinced to surrender. Geronimo died a prisoner of war, his body buried in Fort Sill, Oklahoma. Now, 100 years later, his family is suing to get his remains back. After a while, you know, it, it hurts you inside. Harlan Geronimo is the warrior's great-grandson. He and other descendants are suing Yale University and the secret society known as the Order of Skull and Bones, claiming Geronimo's skull was stolen back in 1918 by Yale students, members of the secret order. One of the alleged grave robbers, Yalee Prescott Bush, the father and grandfather of Presidents 41 and 43. When you desecrated a, a grave like of this nature, you know, uh, you upset the spirits. And sooner or later, you know, the spirits will come after you. For decades, members called Bonesmen dismissed the suggestion as a hoax. But a Bonesman's letter written in 1918, discovered two years ago at Yale, suggests otherwise. Quote, the skull of the worthy Geronimo the Terrible exhumed. Now safe inside the T. T is believed short for the tomb, the Bonesman's private club. I spoke with several Bonesmen who told me that inside the tomb there is a glass display case containing a skull, and the Bonesmen have always called it Geronimo. Author Alexandra Robbins wrote a book on the secret order. If it is found that Geronimo's skull is really in there, uh, that's a crime. Geronimo's descendants have also sued President Obama and Secretary of Defense Robert Gates, hoping to recover Geronimo's remains at Fort Sill. He died as a prisoner of war. Still, he was not free, and, and he was not free to be buried in the old customary ways that the Apache would have been buried at that time. Now, Geronimo's great-grandson says he's willing to take a DNA test. He and his family want Yale University and Skull and Bones members to tell what they know. We attempted to reach Skull and Bones. No one returned our calls. Yale says the university does not have Geronimo's remains and that it does not speak for the secret society. So a lot of unanswered questions. And how does Yale know that they don't have them? Well, there you go. But they're, gonna, they're looking into it. Technically, they could subpoena and possibly see whether, in fact, anybody will say, oh, yeah, well, that happens to be the skull, but unlikely. Wow. Deb Freire, thank you.